said that something strange happened to me recently. I'm just gonna start from the beginning. So I have this single wall socket in my guest room, but the cover was broken, so I ordered a new one to fix it. I thought, I can do this myself, but in fact I cannot. So I took out my screwdriver set, I unscrewed it, and then I saw all these wires connected to it, and I was like, ah, fuck. So I was looking at the new cover, and then the old cover, and I was like, I see this wire goes here, and that wire goes here. I can do this. So as I was trying to unscrew to loosen the wires, it just went poof, because they left the electricity on. <laughs> The spark shot right past my face and then I jumped in for oh shit I almost died Anyway I went downstairs to my fuse box I figured out how to turn it off and then I went back upstairs and then I managed to put the new cover on This when I thought everything done it was not I noticed that I couldn't turn my PC back on So I went downstairs to check that the fuse box was on Then I turned it off and on But my PC still won't turn on And all my fridges and my internet router wouldn't turn on either But the lights were working just fine So I started panicking And I went on my phone using my 4G I started searching up nearby electrician people And a lot of them charge £120 per hour And I started freaking out <laughs> So I called up several companies I was worried about my food in my freezer defrosting and five out of six of those companies hung up on me after asking where my mum was Yeah, you could tell none of them took me seriously But luckily there was one person She was really nice She told me that she's sending off an electrician and he should arrive within 30 to an hour He ended up arriving two hours later But at least he got here So he charged me 120 for the hourly fee plus 50 to replace the wire that I blew up he tried to unscrew the new cover, but he was struggling a lot, so he yanked it off the wall, and then it broke. When I looked at it on the floor, I thought, there goes my money. But he brought his own cover, and then he tried to fix that on, but he couldn't screw it on. He was saying how the box part of my wall socket is really old, and it's too small. So he said he's going to get me a new one, which will cost another £30, and he advised me not to use that wall socket until he replaces the box. All this happened on a Friday, and he said he was going to call me on Monday morning to arrange the time for him to come back and put the new box in. He was really funny. I was surprised when he gave me a hug before he left. Right after he left, my new roommate moved in, and while he was signing a contract, I was getting weird text messages from that electrician. He was saying how he wishes I was single, and he asked me if I was up for being friends with benefits. And I was like, is this guy for real? It made me scared to see this guy again, and knowing that he's coming back on Monday, I started panicking a bit. Then Monday came along. He didn't call me at all. Suddenly he texted me saying that he was busy the whole day and then he said he'd come the next day. Again, he didn't contact me for the whole day. So I thought, shit, do I have to find another electrician and pay another £120? I figured I'd wait for this guy because I'd only have to pay £30 for the new box. So I texted him asking if he was coming or not and then he said he's going through some trouble with another customer. So he said he'll come the next day which is Wednesday. Then on Wednesday afternoon he called me saying that he'll arrive in one hour. So I waited for like five hours and he never showed up. Then I started thinking this guy's pretty unprofessional. <laughs> um yeah. Then Thursday came along then I texted him saying you know what forget about it and I thanked him for fixing the wire part. Then I just blocked his number. I don't know if he's doing this because I told him I wouldn't have sex with him. Yeah, I'm glad nothing happened, but I still can't use that wall socket. 